Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the part two of my rat's diet. Last week I posted a video on what kind of fresh foods and cooked foods and stuff like that that I feed my rats. So I did kind of want to go over the dry portion of what they get just because I still got a few more questions when it came to the dry food that I feed them. Um, so I feed them Regal rat food. This is Oxbow. This is a big um, 20 pound bag, so that's why it looks like this. Oxbow is pretty much the leading brand when it comes to small animals. They do a lot of research and um, they usually have the best products when it comes to small animals. So I did want to show you guys the ingredients in case you were interested since there is a difference between the adult version and the young rat and mouse food and if you look up here I'm not sure if you can see it that this is the adult version and that it's not intended for rats under the age of six months um, I think that might be new because on my last bag it said that it was three months um, but basically it's because the younger version has a higher protein content and when rats are growing, they need a little bit more protein, like I had mentioned in my last video. Um, the reason I don't give my rats the young rat and mice version is because it has corn and alfalfa in it. And as you can see here, this is the adult version and it does not have any corn or alfalfa in it. A lot of pet store foods do have corn in it and usually alfalfa too, but when it comes to rats, it's suggested that you avoid giving them alfalfa because they can have problems digesting it. And it's also suggested not to give them dried corn since it can have high fungal levels in it. It's okay to give it to them if it's cooked. So I'm really not sure why Oxbow had kind of deliberately left it out of the adult version, but went ahead and included it and the younger version. So that's why I do not feed the young rat and mouse formula to my rats, even if they are younger. What I like to do is supplement their protein, like I had mentioned in the last video. And I also have a full video on that as well that I will link below. I have started buying this in bulk. Since this one is 20 pounds, this is the biggest bag of Oxbow for rats that you can get. And it is kind of expensive when you're buying it up front, but it lasts me a lot longer than if I would have bought the individual three pound bags. So to make sure that it's fresh, I just keep this bag in the spare freezer that I have in my garage. And then whenever I need it, I go ahead and put a portion of the food in this little glass dish that I keep underneath their cage. And this is what Oxbow looks like. It's like little kibbles, little triangle bits, and it's actually pretty hard. So it's good for your rat's teeth. So you can hear them kind of chomping on it. A few years back, they did have problems with rats not eating it. So they have updated the formula and I haven't had any problems with my rats not liking it. But I do remember a while ago um, seeing some people saying that the rats didn't like it, but that seems to have kind of changed since they changed up the formula. The next thing that I feed my rats is my um, grain and supplement mix that I mix for them myself. It's just a bunch of different grains and seeds and cereals as well as some hard pasta. And it also has some coconut in it. This kind of differs depending on what's at the store. So I am going to be selling this on my Etsy shop that I have opened. It's kind of a work in progress right now, especially since um, a bag of seed mix costs quite a lot to ship. Um, so I'm in the progress of trying to find a cheaper way to ship it to you guys um, if anybody is interested. Since I do want to keep the cost low so that it's effective for everybody. So when it comes to the Oxbow, they get a full bowl of Oxbow every single night and it's usually about half full in the morning and about a quarter left in the afternoon and then sometimes at night there's food left and sometimes not, but I still just usually fill it up at night. 
And then when it comes to the seed mix, they get one tablespoon per rat. And I was giving it to them pretty much every night, but I've tried to kind of stagger it so that they're getting it maybe three times a week. I am kind of experimenting with rats and calorie intake and tumors. Um, so any kind of information on that, I will keep you guys updated. So I hope this video helped you guys. I'll go ahead and link the first part below in the description as well in case you missed it. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.